Hi everyone, my name is Courtney, and today I will be showing you how to create and run your own QCOW2 images. Before I begin, I would like to let you know that everything discussed in this video is available on my GitHub gist, which I will link to in the description below. So let's begin. Our first step is to install the necessary packages, Image Factory, LibVirt, and Vert Manager. Image Factory is used for building our images, and LibVirt and Vert Manager are used for creating our VM. Next, we need to modify our OZ configuration to tell Image Factory to generate a QCOW2 image. The configuration file is located at etc slash oz slash oz.config. Here, we see the config file. We want to set the image type to QCOW2 here and our memory to 4096 here so that we have enough memory to generate our image. Now, we have to create our necessary input files to Image Factory. The first input file is a Kickstart file. This tells Image Factory what to install and how to install it. Our second file is a template file, which describes what to build. Our last and final file is a cloud init ISO, which is used for logging into a Fedora 24 cloud image. Here we have a kickstart file, which can be found on the modularity padger, which I will link to in the description below. You can use and or modify this file. The same can be said for the template file. Since our cloud init ISOs are unique to you, you will need to generate one yourself. Fortunately, there's a tutorial on Project Atomic's blog. A link to the relevant blog post is in the description below. Now we're ready to generate our QCOW2 image using Image Factory. Here we want to use base image as our input. So this tells Image Factory which type of image to build, which we uh, change in the oz.config file. Next, we want to use the install script, which tells Image Factory to use the custom kickstart and template files that we created. Now we're ready to run our new image we want to use Vert Manager. So in a Vert Manager, we want to click this yellow button here, which tells it to create a new VM. So in the first step, we want to do import existing disk image and click forward. Now we'll be on step two. What we want to do is we want to click browse and we want to choose the link to our kubecow 2 image that we just created. Here we want to set the OS type to Linux and the version to Fedora. Now click forward. On step three, we're going to accept the default and click forward. Now in step four, we're gonna name our VM. I'm just calling mine, my F24 cloud image. Now before we do this, before we click finish, what we wanna do is click customize configuration before install. Here on the bottom left corner is add hardware. It looks like this. What you wanna do is you wanna click storage right here. And we wanna click select or create custom storage. Hit the manage button to link to our cloud and ISO that we created. Set the device type to CD-ROM device and go with the default bus type. Now click finish. Once you're done with this, begin installation. Right here. Now your image is ready to run. Thank you for watching.